All right, so here we have a question that states the true or false one, and it's, is, are S waves present in the following lead? So we have a lead here, okay, and this is lead two. And just to review, this is one of our inferior limb leads, okay? Remember that there are six limb leads and six precordial leads. This is one of the three inferior leads. The other two are leads AVF and lead three okay so just to review so that's our inferior limb lead that we have here and that's lead two all right so to the question a true or false one so one thing that i want to review and you know there's been some questions are how do we identify some of these waves okay and when we talk about the s wave as you can tell that's part of our QRS complex, okay? So there's the S portion, but there's not always S waves present. So it's important to know what portions of that, okay? So we call it a QRS complex, but it's made up of waves, okay? And those waves don't always have to be uh, a Q wave, R wave, or S wave, okay? So nomenclature can be helpful. So let's just kind of review some of our basic cardiac cycles. So again, the first deflection of that's positive, okay? Imagine we have lead two here. First positive deflection is our P wave, okay? And then we have a PR segment from here to here. And then we have a deflection, okay? We have one that goes up and then that one that goes down and so forth, okay? And then we have, this is our T wave. So this right here is what we refer to as our QRS complex. Now, that doesn't mean that all those are present as we mentioned, so it's important to know how to name these. So a first positive deflection after a P wave of the QRS complex is an R wave. So this is an R wave, okay? And then the first negative deflection after an R wave is an S wave, okay? Now let's say we draw out another cycle. Say we have something like this. Okay, so again, we have our P wave, and this is our T wave at the end, okay? This here is our QRS complex, and notice that we have a number of different peaks there, all right? So let's try to name them. So we have our P wave. We said that the first positive deflection after the P wave of our QRS complex is this R wave, okay? And the first negative deflection after an R wave, which is here, is an S wave. But what is this wave right here, this negative deflection early on? That's what we refer to as a Q wave. So that's a Q wave and not an S wave. So it's important to know, notice that we did not have a Q wave here because it, remember the Q wave is the first negative deflection after a P wave, okay? But if it comes after an R wave, we call it an S wave. All right, and notice that we then have this positive deflection at the end, we call this an R prime wave. So we would name this a Q R S R prime complex, okay? So if you see these small Qs or big Qs or big Rs and small Rs, it tends to refer to the amplitude, yet there are no clear defined criteria for what makes those, okay? So let's look at our question. Are S waves present here? So here's our P wave, okay? Then this is our QRS complex, that's our T wave, okay? Again, another P wave, QRS complex, T wave, P wave, QRS complex, T wave, and then one more, okay? And this is that T wave hanging out right here, okay? So let's name these. So we have an upward deflection after P wave, so we call this an R wave, okay? And this negative deflection is coming after an R wave, so we call that an S wave, okay? It's not a Q wave. If there was, it was the first negative deflection after that P wave, or of a, before an R wave, we would call it a Q wave. So you can see these little deflections, maybe you would call these small Q waves, okay? So again, are S waves present in the following lead? Well, we clearly see them here. So just to kind of clear this up, so we can point out all these S waves present, and hopefully this is making sense, okay? So again, the first negative deflection or any negative deflection after an R wave, we call an S wave. So that's, here's an R wave, this is our S wave, an R wave, S wave, R wave, S wave, R wave, and S wave. Okay, so we have four S waves here. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, this true or false statement, are S waves present in this lead, this again, inferior lead? The answer is true, okay? Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. 
Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.